you find blood in the air. It's gross. Lodge. You're concerned about it. They come to you. It's persistent more than a few days. What would you be concerned about? What would you do about it? You have to see if the blood is with pain or without pain. When it's with pain, it's usually good. It could be a stone. Most of the time. It could be an infection. A lot of times. It could be the hemorrhagic cystitis. It could be bleeding for coming from the prostate. So usually with pain is a good sign. When there is no pain with the blood and it's total hematuria, that means the entire urination is red. That's usually something that has to be evaluated very carefully. And what you do is you do also you do a CAT scan or you do certain other studies. One of the newer studies, which some of them, it's called the CTU or the MRU. They have a high yielding of finding problems in the urinary tract. Because the bleeding could be coming from any place. It could be coming from the kidney. It could be coming from the tube that connects the kidney end to the bladder. It could be coming from the bladder. It could be coming from the prostate, from the urethra, all the way down to the meatus, which is the tip of the penis or the tip of the vagina where the urethra comes out and it gives you the urine. So anything could give you the, the blood in the urine. Especially without pain, has to be evaluated. It's always indicated. Now, this is when you have the gross hematuria. It has been shown up to, in certain studies that up to about 6% of the people that have microscopic hematuria have some malignancy in their urinary tract. So it's a high number. Therefore, it's recommended that all these people should be evaluated. Which includes? Which includes a urine for cytology that has very, very poor yielding. A fish, if the cytology is atypical or it's abnormal or it's positive. A cystoscopy. A CTU or an MRU, which is something that's going to evaluate your urinary tract, and a cystoscopy. And if you find <coughs> a cancer, what's the most likely source or location of cancer? The most common is the bladder. The bladder cancer is the most common found. It's usually associated with a whole bunch of things. It's not like the cancer of the prostate that is genetic, and it gets the information that you come to this world with the information that you're going to get cancer of the prostate. The bladder is different.